Hey everyone, well as you can tell by the picture, I've decided to start with Daria. It is perhaps one of my favorite animated series of all time, maybe even my all-time favorite. Daria was created by Glenn Eichler and Susie Lewis based on the recurring character on Beavis and Butthead, which was created by Mike Judge. He released the character for the spinoff, but had no involvement in the production, as he was busy working on King of the Hill. It ran from March 3rd, 1997 to January 21st, 2002 on MTV. There are five seasons and two TV movies. And as a side note, 18 of these episodes, at least on the DVD, have Daria Day intros. Daria Day, from what I can tell, was a day where they ran reruns with special introductions um, leading up to the final season. So for this first video, I'm only going to talk about the first episode, um, it, but in later videos, I might talk about two or three episodes at a time, because like I said, there are five seasons, 13 episodes each. That's going to be a lot of videos if I do one at a time, but I'm not sure yet. I'm still working on it. So hopefully you all like this, and let's just see where we go from here. All right, let's hop right in. Season one, episode one, Esteemsters. Esteemsters originally aired on March 3rd, 1997 and was written by Glenn Eichler. So with every video in this series, I'm going to tell you a basic summary and the key characters, as well as some quotes, my, my personal best moment, my star rating, and just my thoughts. The key characters in this episode, or the characters I deem key characters, are Daria, Quinn, Jake, Helen, Jane, and Mr. O'Neill. Of course, there are other characters that are featured, but these are the ones that play the most role in the plot. Now for the basic plot. Dar and her family arrive in Lawndale, and the girls meet with their new school administration and peers. And Daria is forced into a self-esteem class when her sardonic wit is taken for low self-esteem. It starts with Jake Morgendorfer, Daria and Quinn's father, dropping them off at school and then being taken by Ms. Lee, their new principal, who plays a small role in this episode. I don't deem her very big on the plot-oriented part, so I didn't include her in the key characters list. Um, taking them on a tour of the school along with a couple other new students. And all of the students are told they're going to be taking a psychological exam. This leads into one of my favorite quotes. Daria mumbles to herself, SOS, girl overboard. And I, I just, I like it. It's very witty. It's very, you know, just sarcastic. It's, it, it's just nice. Um, as for during the psychological exam... The psychologist of the school messes Daria's name up twice, calling her Dara, even after Daria corrects her. Um, after this, they, are, they go to their classes, and we meet Mr. DiMartino for the first time. Now, Mr. DiMartino is their history teacher, and he is one of my favorite characters on the show. I think he might be my favorite of their teachers. I, I just, I like his character. I think he's funny. Um... And after he introduces her to the class, he asks her to raise her hand. And then he says, while she has her hand raised, she might as well answer a question. And he asks her to concisely and unemotionally sum up the doctrine of Manifest Destiny. And my next quote comes from that. Um, Manifest Destiny was a slogan popular in the 1840s. It was used by people who claimed it was God's will for the U.S. to expand all the way to the Pacific Ocean. These people did not include many Mexicans. It's that last line that really does it. it it's just the kicker. Um, it shows she's smart and witty at the same time. Um, so after school, the girls go home. They're eating dinner with Jake and Helen, their parents. And... They get a call from the school and Helen is like, you took a psychological exam at school today? And Quinn is like, they said we wouldn't be graded. Which just, that sums up Quinn very well. Especially in these earlier seasons. So... 
uh, Helen explains that Dari needs to take a special class for a few weeks, and then they'll test her again, because it seems she has low self-esteem. This, this leads into another quote of, favorite quote of mine. It's like, I don't have low self-esteem. It's a mistake. I have low esteem for everyone else. And I think we've all felt like that at some point in our lives, that we just, we have low esteem for the people around us. We just, we don't, we don't view them very highly, especially when we're a teenager. Um, so in the self-esteem class, we meet Mr. O'Neill. He is their self-esteem teacher. Later on in the series, we'll find that he is their English teacher. But right now, what he is, is he is teaching this special course on self-esteem. And he's kind of floundering at it. But that's neither here nor there, because he provides some laughs for us. And in this class, we also meet Jane Lane, who is an amazing character. She becomes Daria's closest ally, best friend, and honestly, first real friend. Um, and Daria asks Mr. O'Neill a question, and Jane whispers to her, he doesn't know what it means. He's got the speech memorized. Um, and Daria asks, well, how am I supposed to follow him if I don't know what he's talking about? Jane says, I'll fill you in later. I've taken this course six times. So they walk home together and Jane is telling her exactly how the course is going to go. And Daria asks her why she can't pass the test and get out. This honestly leads into another one of my favorite quotes. I could pass the test, but I like having low self-esteem. It makes me feel special. Which, that, that sums up Jane's character. She does stuff for fun. She does it for her, on her terms. She's just, she's kind of a badass. And I really like her. So, the, the, the show goes on from there. There's some funny scenes with Daria and her family going to Pizza Forest, which is a take on Chuck E. Cheese. Which, that's just hilarious, because Daria just kind of wants to, you know, mess with her family. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, the show does a lot of callbacks to older episodes, but the best callback in the series happens at the dinner table. Um, in the first, um, that we mentioned earlier, Helen calls back to where Daria originated from. She calls back to Beavis and Butthead. She mentions Highland, which is the town Beavis and Butthead takes place in, which just, that's like just chef's kiss. It's perfect. Um, the best moment in the episode happens right at the very end. Um, earlier in the episode, when Daria and Jane are at school the next day, they see Quinn, who is cute, so she became like instantly popular, um, being hit on by a guy. And the guy, one of the questions he asks her, so, like, you got any brothers or sisters? And her answer is, I'm an only child. And Daria and Jane overhear this. So, Daria and Jane, they decide that they want to just get out of the self-esteem class due to seeing something about UFO conventions on their favorite show, Six Sad World. Six Sad World will kind of play a role in my talking about Daria because I absolutely love this show within a show. It just sounds so ridiculous. I would watch the hell out of it if it were real. Um, so they take the test early and Mr. Neal's like, I think the whole school needs to hear about this at an assembly. You've passed it early. You're just amazing. And Daria gets up and starts giving this really cliche-filled speech and then says, but there's one person I need to thank above all else for this. My very own sister, Quinn. Quinn Morgendorfer. Are you out there, sis? Stand up and let me thank you. And this leads into the first time we hear the term brain used to describe a smart person in a diminishing way. 
by the guy who was hitting on her earlier, I believe, um, just like looks at her and says, that like brain is your sister. Are you a brain too? And it's just like, I think that's kind of a 90s thing, making fun of people for being smart. I, I'm sure it happens now, but it was, like, really common um, on shows back then to make fun of, to make fun of the nerds. Um, and Daria, she, she's, she's, she's a smart kid. She's going to get made fun of. She's, like, really, really smart. Um, so, yeah. And the episode ends with Quinn complaining to her parents that Daria got up and was thanking her and Jake and Helen think that's a really sweet thing they don't understand why it's a bad thing um and Daria says you know why don't we go out to celebrate and when they try to take a rain check on that because they've got busy schedules Helen with being a lawyer Jake being a consultant she says, oh, I don't know. I feel my self-esteem starting to slip. So they all end up going to a UFO convention. Again, just so Daria can mess with her family. Which, to me, again, it's funny. I think we've all wanted to really mess with our family when we're teenagers. And I, I will say now, I, this show is definitely of its time, but it is also timeless, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, th that's pretty much all I've got to say on this episode. All right, everyone, time for my star rating. I give it three stars out of five, middle of the road episode, but still highly recommend it. All right, that was Daria season one, episode one, Esteemsters. Next time it will be Daria season one, episode two, The Invitation. Thank anyone who's listening, and those are my thoughts on Daria.